Asado, Wikipedia article audio. Asado is used in the same way as the English word barbecue, both for a range of barbecue techniques and the social event of having or attending a barbecue in Argentina, Chile, Paraguay, and Uruguay, where it is very popular. In these countries, asado is a traditional way of preparing food and a traditional event. An asado usually consists of beef, sausages, and sometimes other meats, which are cooked on a grill, called a parilla, or an open fire. An asado almost always includes meats, and usually embutidos and offal. Generally in more elaborate versions the embutidos and meats are accompanied by red wine and salads. In more formal events and restaurants, food is prepared by a person who is the assigned asador or paralero. In informal and relaxed settings, this is customarily done in a collective manner by volunteers. History Coal and Fire Huge herds of wild cattle roamed much of the Pampa region of Argentina until the mid-19th century. Inhabitants of the Rio de la Plata, especially the equestrian gaucho, developed a fondness for beef, especially asado, which is roasted beef. The meat, often a side of ribs, is skewered on a metal frame called an asador and is roasted by placing it next to a slow-burning fire. Gauchos favored cooking asado with the wood of the quebracho tree because it smokes very little. Asado, accompanied by meiti, formed the basis of the gaucho diet. Usually the asador begins by igniting the charcoal, which is often made of native trees, avoiding pines and eucalyptus as they have strong smelling resins. In more sophisticated asados the charcoal is of a specific tree or made on the coal of recently burned wood, which is also commonplace when having an asado in a campfire. In Uruguay, charcoal is not used, but instead direct embers or hot coals. Cooking can be done al asador or a la parilla. In the first case a fire is made on the ground or in a fire pit and surrounded by metal crosses that hold the entire carcass of an animal splayed open to receive the heat from the fire. In the second case a fire is made and after the charcoal has formed, a grill with the meat is placed over it. In many asados, chorizos, morsulas, chinchulines, molages, and other organs, often accompanied by pro violeta, would be served first while the cuts that require longer preparations are still on the grill. Sometimes these are served on a charcoal bracero. Chorizos may be served with maraqueta or baguette bread, often called coribin. After appetizers, costillas or asado de tira can be served. Next comes vaccio, matambre, and possibly chicken and chivato. Dishes such as pamplona, pork, and Patagonian lamb are becoming more frequent, particularly in restaurants. An asado also includes bread, a simple mixed salad of, for instance, lettuce, tomato, and onions, or it could be accompanied with vergeracho a mixture made of potatoes, corn, onion, and eggplant cooked on the grill and seasoned with olive oil and salt. Beer, wine, soft drink, and other beverages are common. Dessert is usually fresh fruit. Embutidos and Ashuras Another traditional form to mainly roast the meat, used in Patagonia is with the whole animal in a wood stick nailed in the ground and exposed to the heat of live coals, called asado al palo. The meat for an asado is not marinated, the only preparation being the application of salt before or during the cooking period. Also, the heat and distance from the coals are controlled to provide a slow cooking, it usually takes around two hours to cook asado. Further, 
grease from the meat is not encouraged to fall on the coals and create smoke which would adversely flavor the meat. In some asados the area directly under the meat is kept clear of coals. Meats The asado is usually placed in a tray to be immediately served, but it can also be placed on a bracero right on the table to keep the meat warm. Chimichurri, a sauce of chopped parsley, dried oregano, garlic, salt, black pepper, onion, and paprika with olive oil, or salsa criolla, a sauce of tomato and onion in vinegar, are common accompaniments to an asado, where they are traditionally used on the offal, but not the steaks. Food is often accompanied by salads which in asado gatherings are traditionally made by women on site or brought to the asado from their homes while the men focus on the meats. Salad Olivier is one of the most common salads served at asados. In Paraguay Chipaguasu, sopa paraguaya and boiled manioc as a side dish is also served. In Chile, the normal version equals cordero al palo is usually accompanied with pebra, a local condiment made from pureed herbs, garlic, and hot peppers, in many ways similar to chimichurri. The dish is typical of southern Chile and is served hot accompanied by salads. A whole lamb is tied to a spit and is then roasted perpendicular on a wood fire. The preparation lasts around five hours since cooking must be constant and on a low heat. Salad this is not to be confused with asado in the Philippines, which is a dish cooked in a sweet, tomato-based stew usually accompanied by potatoes, carrots, and other vegetables. True to the East meets West nature of Philippine cuisine and culture in general, asado is also used as a filling in siapeo, the local variant of bozi. There is also a version of asado that is of Filipino-Chinese origin. The term is used for dried, red-colored sweetmeats that are otherwise known by its Cantonese name, char siu. Variations In Brazil, asado is called churrasco, although the cooking is usually faster. Grilled and salted meat in Brazil is generally called carne assada and is often cut into small strips and served on a plate or cutting board in the middle of the table for all to partake. Various grilled meats, pork, sausages, and occasionally chicken are also passed around from table to table on a spit and a slice is offered to each person. This is called rodizio because each person partakes in turn. Charcoal is predominantly used instead of embers of wood, and Brazilians tend to cook the meat on skewers or grills. In some places, the meat is seasoned with salt and a little sugar. In Mexico, there is similar tradition of asparilatus or carnasadas, which incorporates various marinated cuts of meat, including steaks, chicken, and sausages. These are all grilled over wood charcoal. Vegetables are also placed over the grill, especially green onions, nopales, and corn. Again, in Argentina, Uruguay, and Paraguay, some alternatives are the asado al disco and asado al horno de barro, especially in the countryside. The recipe doesn't change, only the way of cooking. In the asado al disco the worn-out disc of a plow is used. Being metallic and concave, three or four metallic legs are welded and with hot coal or lumber below it is easily transformed into an effective grill. Food is put in a spiral, in such a way that the fat naturally slips to the center, preserving the meat for being fried. Chili peppers and onions are usually put next to the edge so that they gradually release their juices on the meat. The asado al horno de barro differs from tradition, as an adobe horno is used. These ovens are a common view in Argentine and Paraguayan estancias, their primary function is to bake bread, shipaguasu, and sopa paraguaya, 
but they are well suited for roasting meat. Pork suckling and, less commonly, lamb are served, as they are more unlikely to become dry. Another way of cooking the asado is inside a cholengo, an oil barrel cut in half, inside which the grill is placed to protect both the meat and fire from heavy wines. This makes the cholengo specially used in the Patagonia, although it's also used in other areas for practicality and the ability to move it around. <laughs>